Welcome to 23 Degrees Sideways, Coyote in the Highlands. We're doing uh, another update today. The homestead's doing pretty good. I've got shade up over the kitchen. It's temporary, but it's there until I can get some roofing. I've got the beginnings of the flagstones start, are, are getting laid, so I'm going to keep moving dirt and do that as I go. I've got the gambrel trusses cut for the bathroom roof. I need to cut the gussets out, and I need to get some J-bolts next time I'm in town so I can put the footer boards on top of the concrete to hold the roof on. Um, and then once it's framed up, then I have to sheath it, and that's going to be the hard part to figure out because this one needs... I, I would prefer that this one have a little more insulation than just a shed roof, so we'll see how this goes goes. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that yet. The price of the materials is still so extreme that, um, you know, I'm just, I'm going to have to think it through. Um, if I had a couple more pallets, I would cut up pallets and do, just sheath it with pallet wood and then cover it with roofing. But I don't. I'd like to talk a little bit today about programming. Uh, your mental space programming. We're not going to get too deep. There's this stuff where you've got these deep circuits that you could get after birth and as you start to get into a toddler phase your brain has certain wiring. You get a lot of anxiety and anger programmed, imprinted in you at that those stages. In the old Leary model it was the oral stage and then the anal territorial stage, these first two circuits. It's a valid map but it's kind of limited, and they, they talk about imprints as being extremely permanent, but they're not. You can re-imprint your brain. In fact, you can rewire your brain, your neurology, completely, 100%, absolutely. The biggest thing to do, if you want to do that, is consistent, consistent, consistent systems or behaviors. So, um, for example, you need to cancel any negative thoughts. In fact, you can, you just, when you catch yourself, oh, especially if it's a negative self story, if it's like, I'm not good enough, or I did this wrong, or going back to a memory where, where of failure or something, anything negative about yourself that you tell yourself, that you envision for yourself, that you remember about yourself, you need to get rid of that. You need to release it. Um, if you're, if you're, if you like the Levinson method, then you transform it with love into something positive or something loving. And that's, it's a viewpoint change. And a lot of people really don't like the viewpoint change. That's a really good way to get at it. Another way to do it is to just, just say, say, I don't want that thought. I'm canceling that thought. Say, I don't want that thought. And think about something else. Positive thought. No matter how small it is, no matter how basic it is. I'm still breathing. I'm still alive. Um, you know, my car ran today and didn't break down. Just some, some positive thing. Every time you have that negative, just you notice negative. Do something. I don't want that thought. I don't like negative thoughts. Tell yourself. Tell yourself. No negative thoughts. If, if you want to phrase it in a positive fashion, then, then I would prefer a positive thought. I'm going to I'm going to not do this, you know. I'm going, I would prefer a positive thought, as positively as you can phrase it, and then put in a positive thought. This stuff really does help. When you get stuck with some of those negative thoughts, memories, or something, and it becomes a a, a chain of negative thinking, recall, memory, future, and vision. Get yourself a positive thought, mantra, something small for the moment, and go walk for a few minutes. Get the body moving. Just stand up and walk. If you're at work and you're doing this, and you can't walk because you work at McDonald's and your your movements are constrained by the computer or whatever, I don't know. I don't know how this works these, these days. Um, keep moving. Wh whatever it is. Bounce in your seat if you have to. Just do some sort of body movement. Do tension. Just do this. Squeeze. 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 Some body movement. The larger the body movement, the better. Um, calf raises. You know, if you're standing up at a, at a grill, you see calf raises. Bounce on your calves. 
that's fine, something, and tie it to a positive thought, some positive phrase, the most minuscule, ridiculous thing that turns up in your head is okay because it's not negative. That's the whole point, get something positive going. This is a system which will make a huge amount of difference in your perceptions, your universe, how the world looks to you. It'll brighten everything, including your skin. Um, this physical health is tied to this, this stuff, you know? So, that's the deal. Program yourself positively by any time you have that negative self-talk, erasing it, getting rid of it, canceling it, saying you don't want it, um, telling, telling your mind, just literally, this is not for me. I want this positive statement, positive thing. I want to notice the, the good. That's really fantastic. People always get worried that they'll that they'll miss out. They'll miss out on a chance at anger or retribution, or they'll get taken advantage of because they'll they'll be hippy dippy and they won't be looking for the the cheat or the code or the negatives. And this isn't about that. This is about your self talk. Get positive. Get the positivity moving on that. Whenever you find yourself in a negative spiral, pick these things individually. Right. Take these things individually and write them down, remind yourself, put them in a note on your phone, make them the lock screen of your phone, like some text or something, whatever it is. You know, write it down in marker, take a picture, make it your lock screen. Um, set timers, set reminders. Do whatever to make it memorable so that you remember that when you get stuck in a negative thought spiral, you can tell yourself, I don't want that. That's not what we're doing. I want positive thoughts. And then have some positive thing you just say to yourself. If you have a huge stress thing, if there's a negative thing that is just unresolved and you can't get it out of your head because it's not resolved, then you have to go bring it up, look at it, journal it, write it down, write down what happened, write down the positive aspects of it. Find a positive aspect. I'm still alive is always a good starting point and write it out, sing it, paint it, some way express it. Writing it out and then reading it out loud has the most mental neurological basis for success as far as that goes. And then transform it. Transform it into a positive memory, positive emotion. You may have to do this 20, 30, 40 times if it's something deep. Um, but you want to get the negative out, okay? And sometimes looking at it and resolving it is the way that you'll get past it. If you can't just say, hey, we're canceling this thought, thought pattern. I have positive things to think about. If it keeps coming back, keeps coming back, then it could be habit or it could be that you need to process the memory in a different way. Memories are plastic. No memory is ever repeated the same way twice. That's just, there. it gets re-encoded and revised and readjusted every time you recall something. So you can put positivity in there and make the memory positive. It's just, that's the way it is, you know. Everyone wants the binary digital recording that is pure and uncorruptible, and that's not the way our memories work. So, since our memories are plastic, you might as well make a pretty sculpture out of that. Okay, make it positive. So if you have to process a memory, go for it. There's times to sit down and do that. There's ways to do that. We'll talk about that. But right now, if you find yourself in doing the negative talk, get rid of it. Tell yourself you don't want it and move on. Move on to some positive thought. That's just going to change your day if you can remember to do it. There's no guilt. You might remember to do it once a week at first. You might remember to do it twice a day. It doesn't matter. There's no guilt. There's no shame. Any, any amount of change is going to be positive change. So go. All right? Stay sideways.